Hey Carp Geeks. Well, kind of a special one. I'm gonna kind of show you how to get this Gladius Mini submarine up and running. Okay, so if you've ever considered <laughs> chasing fish around with a submarine, I highly recommend this one. It's called the Gladius Mini. I've been using it for quite a while. Maybe I'll link to some footage. But this is how you actually set the thing up, okay? So uh, bear with me as I kind of, I'll probably speed up the film as you go through. You don't want to see all the <laughs> all the boring bits, right? But um, we'll go through. So the submarine itself is provided in a nice backpack. In the backpack, well, this is mine. I like to kind of watch the video on a on a tablet, which comes, you know, you have to install the, the software. In here we find the tether. Now, you can have a 50 foot or a 100 foot tether. I went for the 100 foot, of course, okay? So 100 foot tether. What we very simply do is we attach one end to the submarine. like so, and the other end will be attached to a wireless station, okay? So I'll show you that real quick. So in the other compartment, we have this like wonderful little box of goodies. Okay, put them there. We have The wireless station. So this hooks into, and I'll remove this again. Here, if you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to take the cap off. Don't lose it. I'll do it like this so you can see. Here we go. So We don't get this one wet, okay? So the, the wireless station stays on the land, the cable stays on the land, uh, the holder, and the submarine goes in the water, and we pay cable out so the submarine can go out. Okay, now, control. Here's a standard remote control. This links wirelessly to here. And then we attach the tablet to the controller. And it's, if you've ever flown a drone, like, you know, a Mavic or something like that, it's extremely similar. The controls are essentially identical. So when you <laughs> rise up with a drone, you can bring the submarine up, you can sink. The great thing about this uh, chasing Gladius Mini has several very key features, okay? One, you can actually do a depth lock, okay? So if I'm at a certain depth, I can lock it. So if I'm, for example, two feet off the bottom, and that's where I want to stay, I can lock the depth and then just move around two feet off the bottom, okay? Another fantastic feature, as well as the 4K video it produces, is the tilt function, okay? So I have this wheel here, this roll bar, well, it's roller, the scroller bar, and you can actually tilt the submarine up to 45 degrees up or down. I'm gonna show you some, probably some footage later of some uh, loose fed pellets hitting a waggler and then dropping through the water, okay? That's with the camera at 45 degrees. If I want to check out my bait on the bottom, if I want to say, look at a spot where I've pre-baited, for example, or even check my rig, imagine that, you can actually put the camera at 45 degrees, or the sub at 45 degrees, and then just, with depth lock, lock it two or three feet off the bottom, just go over the top, okay? Maybe I'll show you some footage of that. Maybe I'll take a peek at the bottom, so let those pellets land today and then go see where they went, okay? So, we'll see how it goes. Submarine, awesome! All right, so we're at the uh, water's edge. I've just linked through wireless the submarine through the base station to the app, okay? So I'm gonna watch exactly what happens on the app. So the underwater footage you'll see is what I see through the app here, okay? So uh, I'll get this thing launched, we'll take a look at that, and we'll take it from there. 